Hello, my name is Chris. I'm one of the physicists here in the Beacon Centre and our job is to take the CT scans that you had taken earlier and turn those into your detailed personalised treatment plan. And now I'm going to show you what that means. And here we have a sagittal slice through a sample male patient. And here we have a slice through the pelvic region. Uh, this area here is the bladder. Here we have the head of the femurs, where people sometimes have hips uh, replaced. This is the bit that gets replaced. Down here is the rectum. And the first job is to contour, draw all the structures that we want to avoid and draw the structures that we want to treat. We've drawn them already, so I will just turn them on. We will have the bladder on, that's the green one. We will turn on the prostate and seminal vesicles and then underneath that we have the rectum in the blue and you can just make it out abutting the back side of the target. So what we're trying to do when we're planning treatment is to have beams focusing on the target, so the target is in red, have beams focusing on the target and giving the full dose to the target. So we might start with one beam and let's see what that looks like. So we'll add one beam coming in from the front of the patient. So this is pointing at the patient's belly and exiting through the back of the patient. The patient is lying on their back on the couch. So this is the back of the patient. This is the patient's left side. This is the patient's right side. So we're looking from the patient's feet upwards. So if we have one beam here, and then we turn the dose on, we can see we have quite a gradient of dose. So it starts off high and it decreases as we move through the patient. So think of this as contours on a map, if you like. So this might be the top of the Quantock Hills and it's rolling down towards Hinkley. Um, so we have a nice high dose where the beam first enters the patient, a nice high dose over most of the bladder, but when it comes to the target, we have quite a deep, quite a gradient of dose across the target, which is not ideal. Um, so an obvious thing to do would be to add more beams. So let's add a second beam coming from behind the patient. So now we'd have a beam focusing through the couch at the back of the patient. Now we have a nice uniform dose over the target, which is good, but it's also a nice high uniform dose over the rectum, which is a bad thing, and also over the bladder, which is also bad. So the easiest way to deal with that is to add more beams. So if we add a third and a fourth beam, so as well as one from the front and the back, we'll have one coming from the patient's left and the patient's right. And these are now overlapping on the target and they are conforming fairly well. I will add another structure in here. Okay, so now we can see this pink structure is a margin we allow for movement within the patient's body during the treatment. So as the bladder fills and empties, it will push things around. If the patient's had a large meal or has had, uh, I don't know, baked beans on toast or lots of cauliflower, you will have varying amounts of, of gas in the bowel here. And that will move things around a little bit. Plus there'll be minor variations in how, how the patient lies down on the couch. So we allow for all of that by drawing this margin. So that's from the red structure of the prostate and the seminal vesicles out to the planning target volume. And we can see how we have wrapped as tightly as we can around that pink shape. But we are still over treating these corners here and a little bit into the rectum. And we would rather not do that. 
so we saw how things improved by going from one beam to two beams to four beams. What we, this would have been the normal treatment technique in the 90s. But over the last 10, 15 years, we have added a new treatment technique called volume, volume modulated arc therapy, which basically means 90 beams coming in in a circle. So the machine will rotate around the patient, firing a little bit of dose from each, each step as it rotates. So now we can see that the dose is much more tightly wrapped around the pink shape, around the planning target volume. We are sparing a lot more of, of the bladder and also we are dipping in and sparing more dose around the rectum. If we look at these other views, this is a sagittal cut here. So here I've blown up that sagittal view and we can see that here the red structure is our target that we wanted to treat. The pink shape around it is the planning target volume that we want to cover. And the blue shape at the back is the rectum and the green shape is the bladder. By using 90 individual fields which rotate around the patient, we can really shrink wrap where the dose is going to wrap very nicely around the pink shape and really pull in and spare dose to the rectum and reduce the dose to the bladder. So that's it for pelvic planning, certainly the male pelvis. Okay, here we have moved to a breast patient. So we've changed, we've moved away from the male pelvis into a female breast. Um, here we have the lungs and the heart that's drawn. Um, in this case, we have two beams. We don't need to have 90 rotating around the patient when we're only trying to treat this structure, this area here that's close to the skin. So we can scroll up and down and see what we've got in there. We can see how things move, how the heart and the lungs change shape. And the beams are focusing on the area that we want to treat. Right, so here, here we can see that we have two beams overlapping on this area. Uh, we only use two beams because we want to avoid dose to the lung and to the heart. So that's why we just have the two and they are opposing each other. So we're just treating this segment between the yellow back border of the field and this red structure that's drawn on the, on the front that we sometimes use to modify the patient's treatment. I hope you found this very useful and hopefully interesting. If you have any further questions, please send them in to the email address provided. Thank you.